probably could tell if you watch my videos usually I am not in my room I'm actually in Florida right now you can see where I am yeah oh, okay um I'm in Florida and I'm doing March favorites <laughs> I forgot what month it was uh usually I pre-film a lot of my videos or like I film a lot I don't really pre-film I don't like do that anyways um but I never filmed the freaking favorites video. Oh, I just spit. I never filmed the freaking favorites video. So then I'm always like, oh, I'm not going to do a favorites video. But this month, I want to do it really bad. So I'm going to do a favorites video for you guys. And I do not have everything here. So I'm going to have to show you pictures of some, which really sucks. But yeah, let's just get started. And it's not like beauty products I'm going to show you pictures of. It's um, like books and stuff. Okay, so the first thing, I'm not on beauty first. Uh... So, what do you guys give up for lunch? I gave up sparkling ice, that like zero calories tall drink. I have no desire to drink it now. That's why I love Lent too. Like, you give up stuff that you really like. Also, you give up, and then you don't have a desire for it. Unless you give up chocolate, girl, because you always gotta have a desire for that. Unless you don't like it, then obviously not. So, uh, for Rain Lab, we read lots of books. I don't know if I explained you this already. I kind of remember that. Okay, so, I read three or four books this month. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with three. Okay, the first book's Perks Be a Wallflower by Stephen Kosha, but I don't know. But you guys, most of you guys know the movie. It's my favorite movie, so I wanted to read the book. Amazing book. I think it's really well done how um, he doesn't, he skips a few days. It's like a, uh, a diary pretty much. He skips a few days and um, he, like, it's not a day, a day, a day, because, like, I feel like if it was that, I was like, okay, every, all this happens so much, like, what? No, it doesn't. So, I like how he does that. I think it's really good how it's, he, he shows, um, dialogue, but he doesn't overextend it, and I think it's really well done. So, I really like that book, and you guys can read more if you want to know what it's about, but it's pretty much about a teenage boy. I'm just going to leave you with Okay, the next book is called Grace by Elizabeth Scott. And I've read this one before, but then I was like, I like read it really fast because I wanted to buy a new one. And then I was like, what the crap did I just read? So I read it again for Reading Lab and it is so good. Okay, so uh, it's about a girl who's brought up to be an angel. And if you guys don't know what that is, um, for them, it's suicide bombing um, because they have a dictator well, a dictator, they never actually use that word, I don't think. But they have a dictator, and, like, the only way to stop him, they believe, is, like, by bombing. And she doesn't, I don't know if she doesn't believe that, or she just doesn't want to. She tried it, and then she failed, so she didn't, she didn't like, go back to her place. And now she's on the run on a train with a guy she doesn't even know, so. Really bad describing books, but it's really good. I recommend reading that. The next book is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This book is so freaking amazing, guys. I cannot even put words into my mouth how good this book is. Uh, if I remember reading the description, it's about a girl with can Well, this is pretty obvious. A girl with cancer. And when she meets this boy in cancer support group for, like, teenagers or something, uh, then, like, it's about that their journey. I don't know if I should call it a journey, but, like, what they do together. So yeah, uh, read it. It's amazing. The ending by far is my favorite part. Uh, I don't know why. I just think it's such a good ending. Ah, I'd like it's an amazing book. So you guys really have to read it. It's so freaking good. Like I cannot stress it enough. Now let's go into my music. And I've been obsessed with bands lately. Like Pierce the Val. Uh, this was last month. I already told you guys. So I'm gonna do show you new ones about Pierce the Veil and like All Time Low always. The main Mayday Parade. I bought their album. Okay, so I bought Childish Gambino's out new newest album with uh, it's called Camp and Heartbeats on it. And I've known Heartbeat that song for so freaking long. I just wanted to buy this album because my sister said it was really good. So I think it's really good. 
Uh, my favorite song, like always, is Heartbeat. That's an amazing song. I love it. I love rapping to his songs because, like, his songs are really fast tense and, like, it's not like all the other rappers and they have, like, a break in between and then they start singing. I mean, his kind of do that sometimes, but, like, Freaks and Geeks, like, he just, I don't think he does that once in that song. I know every word. I love that song too. That's by him, but that's not on this album. So, yeah, I like that. And then, um, Sleep by Sirens. Oh my gosh. I love sleep, Sleeping With Sirens so freaking much. Okay, so they're uh, screamo punk. They like screamo e kind of a little bit. Like that kind of band. They're going on Warped Tour this year and I, first time ever, I want to go Warped Tour so freaking bad. You got, it's like bugging me how much I want to go. Um, and then, so like that's my favorite song by them. And then I also like If I'm James Dean, then you're Audrey Hepburn. Well, no, if I'm James Dean, you're Audrey Hepburn. I think I, I really like that song. I like their popular songs because that's like the ones I've heard the most. Um, okay, Memphis May Fire. I like. I heard them from Sleep and Sirens, and Miles Away. I haven't really listened to that album that much, so I can't say that much because uh, I only downloaded it two nights ago. But uh, Miles Away featuring Kellen Quinn. He's the lead singer of Sleep and Sirens. I think it's a really good song. So. Let's get in makeup now. So my first thing that I've been loving is, okay, that's so weird. Um, first thing I've been loving is wearing eyeshadow. What, Liz, you never wear eyeshadow. Well, maybe you can't tell, but I am wearing it. I use my Shimmering Sands CoverGirl Trio, and I just use the middle cover, which is like a nice uh, shiny, not sparkly, shiny. Um, light brown right there so and I use my crease brush from Sephora and I pretty much I just work it in the crease and then I'm like this and if it touches the rest of my eye cool if it doesn't I don't care I'm just gonna leave it like that I don't blend it in or add any other colors I like it adds a little bit more depth and a little bit more shininess I am wearing mascara what Liz you never wear mascara well you might not know that but I do so I Pretty much my mascara routine is my Great Lash Clear Transparent Mascara and I always wear this no matter what. I like how it separates your lashes, make them a little bit more curly and longer. Sorry, it sounded like something was in my throat there. That was a little disgusting. Uh, and then my Buxom Lash. And this is just in Black is Black and this is from Bare Essentials but like it's Buxom, the company. And, and, you know. But it's just a rubber wand pretty much and I like this. I feel like it gives length and volume but most... These two mascaras give length mostly and then a little bit of volume. Next is DJV Beauty 10 by saying, I don't know. It's a fiber wix or something. It looks like this. And this was, uh, these two mascaras were in the mascara set you get when, like around Christmas time at Sephora. I'm like, I never wear mascara. Why did I get this? So I, now I'm starting to wear mascara to not waste them. But I've been really liking these. And this one is a fiber wand. Like it said, fiber wicks or something. Uh, but it's pretty much a hair wand. That's how I like to describe it, even though it sounds kind of weird. Oh, and also, I am... Oh, I just kicked my camera. I am doing daily vlogs here. They're not that good, I want to say, because I do them by myself. Uh, because I don't like vlogging in public, really. Like, if I do, I'm, like, really bad. I'm, like... I don't talk. I'm just, like, or I talk. I'm like, okay, guys, now we're at the airport. Like, I'm really bad at it, okay? So, they're not that good, but you guys could check them out. Uh, they're on Liz Outfit, my vlog channel. And, yeah, with that being said, talk to you guys later. Be a request, put the comments below, and bye.